This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and uh, welcome back and let's start and welcome to the first session of uh, DevOps course. <clears throat> And in this session, right, uh, I just give you the overview how exactly we're going to have this session and I'm going to tell you the prerequisites so that uh, we should be all on the same page. Uh, first is about your basic skills guys. So you should not come directly to the DevOps uh, because it, it, people outside will say there is no need of a cloud or you really don't need to do learn anything. You can directly go to the uh, DevOps actually, which is exactly not true. So don't believe in that one. You need to have <clears throat> obviously Linux good knowledge linux or windows anything is fine at least a server level you need to have good knowledge unless you are a developer guys if you are a developer still you should have basic understand about linux and windows what i say good knowledge actually <clears throat> next is you need to have a basic to good understanding of cloud understanding of cloud actually it, it, it might be any cloud it can be uh, aws or Azure or doesn't matter any cloud you need to have it Because what I'm I always say to the students is the roadmap should be actually AWS and uh, DevOps and then you need to go for Azure or GCP whatever you like actually so I, I prefer Azure and then after that you can actually go for uh, Kubernetes and Python etc etc so you need to have one one at least uh, good knowledge on one cloud so that whatever the tools right we are going to talk are going to implement on the cloud itself so if you hear there is no DevOps concept earlier to the cloud people used to call as release management and everything there is no concept called I at least I didn't heard anything something called as DevOps if I take like 10 years before after the cloud became very popular to to make uh, things very easy as well as to agile and uh, deploy the things very faster right devops came into the picture now devops devsecops also coming in including the security but it will take some time so in order to go to this course uh, the expectation is you need to have a basic understanding of uh, aws uh, or azure actually okay now <clears throat> let's understand uh, what are the things that we're going to discuss about what is the syllabus actually and i uh, just give you overview about a syllabus and i'm going to tell you what are we are going to do today actually let me copy the syllabus actually give me one minute and it, i have it somewhere hold on i'm just trying to copy the curriculum actually hold on okay I got it so see I, I made it as a phase one the reason I made it as a phase one because phase two is Kubernetes Python and other tools actually now uh, normally I take the daily classes in Telugu uh, for uh, DevOps right uh, but but this is only specifically for the weekend batch so that uh, because I'm not getting a daily batch op option to take a daily batch slot so I'm making it as a weekend batch now let me tell you this curriculum is not copied from somewhere or some other institute or something first point is I'm not an institute I'm actually working as a cloud architect you will get all the details about me uh, in the LinkedIn you can go and search in LinkedIn my name is Riharsha Virupalli you will get everything about me there okay this is customized course guys so this is not like uh, something I, I just took it from randomly I placed in such a way so that it will be easy for you to to go for next level as well like learning Kubernetes or if you are learning from some programming everything so I designed in such way now totally if you are able to see this one I have somewhere around eight modules here earlier it was only seven modules uh, I and uh, I made Azure DevOps as a separate module and included things in this one so that means we are also going to uh, learn about Azure DevOps as well because I heard like many institutes what they are doing is they are actually selling Azure DevOps as a separate course for 15 20,000 I don't think you need to put a lot of money on that one so I'm covering as all the main concepts in this module actually so first we'll this is the first module uh, which is <clears throat> we're going to talk about uh, about the shell scripting as well as PowerShell scripting the reason I choose a scripting is because this is a fundamental and founding uh, 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 the first layer actually for you to go to the Python so instead of going directly to the Python if you understand how uh, PowerShell scripting works as well as shell scripting works right so then it is easy for you to understand a programming as well so that's why we're going to talk about 
uh, today and tomorrow uh, to be honest right i i require total of 10 hours of uh, power powershell as well as uh, linux shell scripting actually so first once we have discussed about 10 days right 10 classes at least uh, <clears throat> for this one next i'm going to talk about the version control okay so many people will say like why don't you start with the version control it's a it's a boring thing guys but if you understand first the scripting right while while explaining about the scripting itself i'm going to introduce it to git actually so what i do is i'll i limit these classes for three to four i try to cover as much as possible in the git i i know people who are explaining only git for almost like uh three uh, like uh, almost a month or 15 to 20 days let me tell you when compared to the other modules which we are going to talk right git is not a is not like a, some complicated or a core module it is just version control okay so this version control is nothing but to save your code and everything so we're going to talk about Git, the github as well as uh, i'm planning to introduce gitlab as well in this one uh, because uh, a lot of clients are also using gitlab and uh, pipelines in gitlab actually so the plan is uh, <clears throat> to include the gitlab as well okay so once the once the version control if you have a fair idea about the version control right then what we are going to do is we're going to step into a one of the famous module which is the most important module which is terraform so terraform is actually a replacement for cloud formation in aws or azure arm templates in azure so this terraform is actually infrastructure as a code and along with the terraform i'm going to i'm going to actually introduce it to packer uh, make ami images out of the packer and everything okay so hi rajiv i'm actually explaining the uh, the course curriculum yeah now now what will happen is now what i did was recently is let me tell you this is my first english batch but not the first devops batch i already completed almost 10 batches in telugu so each batch contain more than 20 25 people i know that few guys are from other batches also they're here so uh, and i used to take classes for individually two years back from past two years i'm actually taking our 2017 18 uh, 19 2000, from 2017 ending i'm taking as a group actually so that's why this might be the first class of devops in english but not the my first devops class yeah so what will happen is we're going to talk about this terraform including the uh, packer finally i'm going to introduce to jenkins actually earlier two two three three batches before right i used to talk about jenkins in the last but i had a fundamental flaw in that one because introducing jenkins at the last is not doing the job effectively so what i did was i have introduced the jenkins here itself if you go up right i started using in module 2 itself so how to integrate the github with jenkins after that we're going to talk about uh, integrating this with uh, terraform and packer with jenkins okay and after that module 4 we're going to cover the container services guys the, and everybody who is joining in this class right will understand what is the importance of containers because wherever you go it doesn't matter you go for a devops person or a cloud engineer or whatever even if a vmware guy or something if you especially if you are a developer everywhere this is the hype going on you need to have applications containerized so we're going to talk about that one let me tell you this is not kubernetes guys this i'm going to cover introduction to docker as well as a docker cluster using swarm everything this is also a big topic now i give an overview about how to introduction to kubernetes as well as installing as well as what are the pod service deployments like a couple of classes or couple of hours actually which will explain what we about kubernetes its architecture what are the resources definitions and everything now you can ask me why can't you include the kubernetes in this one itself two reasons first thing is kubernetes itself will go for 30 35 classes anything i reduce it to 10 to 15 classes i'm giving only the junk actually i really don't want to give you some overview all these things because if you want just an overview there are a lot of youtube videos for that one on kubernetes my plan to give you in-depth knowledge about kubernetes how it works and everything and i can't include this one here so if i need to include this here i need to increase uh, the number of classes to like almost like additionally 30 35 classes and i need to increase the fees to 20k or 25k which is not feasible for everybody that's why i'm actually planning to take kubernetes as a separate course but this is this will give you a fundamentals how exactly kubernetes works actually okay now pack uh, terraform and packer are here to to give you 
uh, the infrastructure right to 